All right, breakfast has been eaten. Copious amounts of coffee have been consumed. And we are on our way in another drizzly pouring rain to Holyrood House and into Calton Hill. And then by the time we are pretty much done outside, the rain's supposed to go away. Here we go. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Yeah, that one every time. We are here at Holyrood Palace, Holyrood House, whatever you want to call it, gardens. We made a couple of stops along the way, so it took about 50 minutes to walk here from our hotel. Still not bad, except for the fact that it's pouring down rain all the way, and now that we're here, the rain's about stopped, and I have my headphones on to listen to the audio guide. I'm pretty sure that photography and videography is not allowed inside the house, so I'll try to get a few shots around outside as we're here. And this is our first stop of the day. I have been through the Holyrood house. Rood simply means cross, so it's the Holy Cross. Um, and I have just finished going through the Abbey Ruins. This was once a, uh, a huge church. Uh, it was attacked, of course, during the Protestant Reformation, but uh, there were many, many royal activities that took place in this Abbey. And you can tell by looking around just how magnificent it used to be. Now right now, I still have my headphones on and so it feels like I'm talking into a barrel. So <laughs> um, I have a few more stops to make. I wish I could have taken pictures inside Holyrood House, but I understand uh, why that's not allowed. It is an official residence for the monarchy. Um, if you come to Edinburgh, this is a must-see stop. Tickets are 22 pounds for an adult. If you buy them here at the, at, the, at the house, I think you can get them for 18, maybe online, if you buy them ahead of time. And those tickets are good for the entire week, so you can come back anytime you want. Uh, all kinds of major, major uh, history here. Um, and it's just it's just amazing um, just absolutely amazing <clears throat> the carvings the paintings the uh, the tapestries the odds and ends that are in cases to look at the wooden floors um, going through the dining room going into various rooms as you lead into the king's bedroom Every room is designed to be more and more plush, more and more regal. So the closer you get to the king's bedroom, the more you see the, uh, the, the luster of the monarchy. And what, what caught my attention <laughs> was that visitors, important visitors, had permission to go to the king's bedroom to watch him go to bed at night or to go there in the morning and watch him wake up. Um, we have been a voyeuristic people for centuries. <laughs> Yesterday when I was down here, I put this statue sort of in one of the cliffs, but I didn't really do any explaining. This is a statue of the Scottish philosopher David Hume. Um, it sits outside the High Court Chancellery. And the idea is that people who are going in charged with a crime before they enter the building, they rub the toe of the statue for good luck. And so you'll see that the statue has turned green over time with this patina from the copper, but the toe, it's still brass, copper. It's, it's, it's a beautiful toe. Well, this is my third time to Edinburgh and I have finally made it to the Holy Grail for English teachers, the Writers Museum. 
And this is a very small museum. It used to be a house. I think the mantle over the door says it was built in 1622. Um, the museum goes down to the basement and then it goes up a floor. And it has things dedicated to Robert Burns, Robert Louis Stevenson, and Sir Walter Scott. Now, if you're not familiar with those names or if you don't know what they wrote, your English teacher in high school failed you as a teacher. Or perhaps you failed your English teacher in high school. It cannot all be Robert Heinlein and S.E. Hinton. Sometimes you have to go back to the classics. And uh, these three men lived in Edinburgh, rode in Edinburgh, and put Edinburgh on the map as far as their literary genius. It was an amazing thing to walk through for me. And I'm very, very happy that I made it on my third try. Well, that's gonna be it for today. We decided to wait until tomorrow to hit Calton Hill because it's not supposed to be raining in the morning. I have invited some people up with me at sunrise, but I may be by myself. <laughs> this is the uh, Sir Walter Scott Memorial here, dedicated to one of the writers we just talked about in the Writers Museum. I'm headed down that way to end my day at the National Portrait Gallery, another spot I have never made it to since I've been coming to Edinburgh, but I've always wanted to. So that's it for today. We will see you tomorrow.